five days, and I've managed to get into a game, uh, a team room, with one of the guys from Brave, which is pretty cool. And I am listening to the soundage, and checking out the new physics, and comparing them to how they used to be, and how they are presently, and as well as to how they were in the last physics test, which was done, like, I think December. And from what I can tell, is it feels pretty similar to before, as far as the physics go. The e-braking is a little bit easier. It's a little bit poppy and jumpy because my ping is not great. Uh, I don't know about the server performance with where I'm playing on, but you're able to climb and it, it's pretty much better in every single way than the current physics. Like, you can drive along the edges of things, you don't get caught up. I'm popping a little bit, but that's just the super performance. And you get some sparks off stuff. The effects for shooting look like they've improved a little bit as well. And I really like the, the sparks that come off from the physics. You can roll the tank, I rolled it earlier. But you can even see they already can climb up on all the different spots on the map. And generally, I think they've done a great job with these physics. I just hope they they actually get them in this time. Performance of the game, I'm actually impressed with the performance as well. I'm getting like 90 FPS. Granted, the map's empty and it's also low, but it's still nice to see that some of the improvements to the, the game engine are actually making the game run a little bit better. Next, we'll talk a little bit about the sound. Um, the, actually, we'll talk about the physics for a little bit longer. They haven't changed a whole lot compared to the last test, I, I think they're a thousand times better. If you look down at the bottom left of the screen, you can see there's actually like a little torque meter, I think. It's showing a little bit of the RPM, as well as your speed. Everything's kind of shrunk down a little bit, but it uh, it's neat. It's a, a new feature that I haven't seen before. So you've got the space bar to do e-brake turns if you're a medium tank or a light tank, or heavy tank, just TDs and artillery can't e-brake. The, uh, there's new special effects for turning, driving around. This is with everything cranked to absolutely to the, the max, and yeah, in general, I think it looks and sounds pretty good. Um, they've also changed the ramming physics as well. So what we'll do is we'll try and ram him and see what happens. I don't really expect to see too much of a change in this regard, but we'll find out. Oh wow, okay. We did a fair bit of damage to him. <laughs> he was just ramming him, not really hitting him even that hard. So I'm going to e-brake turn a little bit, get around on him. Let's see if I can ram him a little bit more. Yeah, I, I generally think with the, the mass of a vehicle you can push around a lot easier than you used to be able to which is pretty cool. Uh, the only other thing they add in there is the ability to flip over your vehicle, but uh, for the most part, that's pretty cool. Next, we'll jump onto the sound, which is... I'll let it play for a little bit on a, in the next part of the video, and you can just hear it by itself, but for the most part, they, the sound is... It actually sounds like a contemporary game now. It, it sounds on par with something you get from War Thunder or Armored Warfare, as far as sounds go. Maybe not up to Battle... I think Battlefield probably has the best sounds of any vehicle game that is currently out. But, um... This sounds actually quite good. You've got the exhaust sounds from the tank. Starting up sounds. Squeaking sounds. Uh, everything sounds different when you're inside of the vehicle. You've got new shooting sounds. There's going to be some people probably bitching about the sounds don't sound flooded enough or they don't sound cool enough, but I generally think they're okay. And just driving up and down the hill here. Yeah, tree sounds sound about the same. I generally think that this, if this stuff goes in for 9.14, this would be a reason to start trying to play again. Granted, artillery is still there, and I hate it, but I'd like to give this a shot again, because I think the performance has improved. These physics will actually make real gains in the, the gameplay of the game, which is something that I've been waiting for to happen while I'm on my hiatus from this game. The, uh, the sound is also another reason to come back and play more. 
I really, really like the way this sounds. It, it's much better than it is currently. So, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Um, looking at the, the patch notes for the sound stuff, I mean, there's things that I'm going to understand and not understand. Like, I don't know what autokinetic WWYs means. But uh, it's evidently running on a separate core, so that's going to help it uh, with just multi-threading and everything. What did you find? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah, so you got gunshots inside and out of the turrets. You've got different sounds for when you get hit and things bounce off the vehicle. Whether, kind of depending on what caliber they are, which is pretty neat. There is evidently a, a sound for tracers and vehicle destruction that's been improved and changed. Uh, granted I'm in a training room, I don't really think I'm going to be able to get too much going on with that. But, uh, yeah, we got fully reworked sounds for vehicle engines, tracks, transmission, sounds of interaction on various surfaces. A nice destruction sound to end things off. And yeah, I'm, I'm generally really impressed. The next video will show a little bit of the sound by itself without me yapping, and then we'll jump on to some of the new tanks that are actually in here as far as what's being changed to HD. Because this is pretty much the patch. You get sound, you get physics, and then you get some new tanks uh, put in HD. And some t tanks actually been improved, like the Centurion 7 1. So we'll jump onto that in a bit. <laughs> the sound effects for the Locust are amazing. <laughs> that sounds really cool. I really like the sounds of this tank when it fires. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. E break turn. A little bit of a skip there, but in general, pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really liking the sounds, and I'm really liking these physics. This is a thousand times better. You can get a little bit of air. Didn't actually track my vehicle, but I did 30 damage to myself. We'll drive up the side of this cliff. Slide back down. And again, you're able to drive on the sides of things and not crash out and get stuck. You're actually able to mount and go and climb a little bit, which is also pretty cool, which will allow you to climb into weird spots, probably. Ha! We've got a bat chat. That one didn't go through. That one didn't go through. I won't be able to pen him no matter what. Oh, there's a sound of hitting him. <laughs> well, I can't pen a bat chat from behind, it looks like. You can't hear too much when you're in. Yeah, generally that sounds really cool. Urch. 
The next thing to pay attention to is the minimap now has rings for your render range, your maximum range, and your tank's view range. That is something that's been long awaited, much like the, the tank names that showed up after a while. And it's pretty cool to see that finally in here. Not really able to take these buildings down. But the gun on this is piddly. But generally, pretty damn cool. Yeah. No one beats the locust. We're gonna see if we can climb this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing I do like. As you can see that the tracks are scampering and it's trying to climb, which is pretty cool. This sort of thing would, uh, it does the same sort of scampering effect uh, when you play Armored Warfare. <laughs> He's trying to give me a push. We'll see if we can get up here. Maybe with one more tank giving a good push, I may be able to make it up there. But, uh, roll it. And I think we're just about done. There's nothing I can do to, to get flipped back over. <laughs> uh, oh! Nice! That's what you get for doing that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to drive up here using the massive power of this tank, and I'm going to drive off into the water. Geronimo. Here we go. Dun, 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 nice. <laughs> here comes everybody else. That was pretty awesome. And lastly, just to top things off, I thought I'd take a look at some of the newer HD tanks that looked pretty cool. I like the look of this IS-6. It looks definitely better when it has finally been in, done into HD. The hatches look pretty tiny. You can see it's got full complement of nasty spaced armor around. It's got a log, because what Soviet Tavid tank wouldn't be complete without one. Got a cool machine gun on top, just in general. A very nice looking also, model. Also, from what I understand, the Centurion Mark 7-1 got an update in HDness from its last state of HDness. They still didn't put anything in the back here, which I think is kind of kind of dull. But uh, in general, it looks good. I don't know if it looks dramatically better than it used to. I mean, the lights look nice. Generally, all the, the newer tanks that are coming out look really nice in HD, so... Yeah, nothing too much to write home about there. And then you've got the Centurion Action 10. And we've got the new Tier 8 FE4202P. I have this because I had the Action 10 unlocked when the event went out for us. Kind of an ungainly, weird-looking tank. I want to understand it's very slow and it might get buffed this next patch, which will be interesting. But again, the model's nice, the modeling is well done, the textures are well done. Physically based lighting looks nice. All the normal maps where all the, the pound marks on the armor look cool. And they're all weathered and beat up, which is cool looking. This is one of the other new tanks that I ended up buying, the Cornwall B, before I went on my break. Very, really nice looking tank. It will allow me to sell my old Cromwell, which I think is also in HD now. But, I mean, when you have this, why would you play that? Fortunately, I don't know if the Matilda... Oh, the Matilda's HD as well. Look at that. I don't know when this got turned in HD, but it's new for me, so you get to enjoy it. Also, from what I understand, this M4 Sherman got a little bit of a makeover, a little bit of love done to it. I can't tell the difference. I would have to see the old one beside the new one, but generally this model looked good even before. Nice looking vehicle. I don't think they've touched or changed the Super Pershing. 
but I know they did change the SU-100, so we'll just take a quick boo over there and take a look at that. Oh, never mind! I sold it. I forgot. I sold it to buy this piece of junk, the SU-100 M1, which is absolutely god-awful. I can't stand this thing. No matter what they do to it, what kind of pen they, they gave the gun, they gave it a, a pen buff on the gun, but it's still awful. Nothing will ever change that. You cannot pen anything, and it doesn't do enough damage. And lastly, it looks like they've implemented the uh, the new emblem inscription camouflage stuff. I can't remember if this was put into 9.13, but it's here now. Looks good. Definitely improving on what what it was before. You can see all the modifications for your crew members for how all that kind of stuff changes. But uh, generally, I think if this patch makes it out with any of this stuff intact without them messing it up or screwing it up somehow, I'd be really impressed. And I'll probably jump back into playing this game again in some f sort of fashion. One other thing that I would like to mention about the sound that I missed from before is currently, if you get six cents going off, it makes a new bulb sound like a like the sound of a picture being taken. If you get any of your observation devices, fuel tanks, radio or ammo rack hit, it will make a different sound for that. If you use any of your consumables, it will also change those as well. Sound presets for playing with different sound systems and at a different time of play. I don't know what that means. And it sounds like they implemented a different special sound upon getting critical hitted. Other than that, that is pretty much this patch. And... I'm generally pretty happy with it. This is the kind of stuff I want to see get put into the game, and I'm happy to, to see that it's finally making it in. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.